Sacramento's Tower Bridge made its debut as a concert venue. So we wanted this to turn out absolutely as best as possible, basically like the Super Bowl performances. Sacramento band Dance Gavin Dance streamed a performance recorded on the iconic landmark. To pull it off, they teamed up with Aftershock Festival organizers Danny Wimmer Presents. There's like 25 different cameras and views, and uh, we really went all out for this one. The band says they wanted the event to feel as close to a live performance as possible, but because of the pandemic, everything was pre-recorded for quality and safety reasons. We shut the bridge down already. We didn't want people to like show up and then like bring all this commotion and like bring all these people around when they shouldn't, everyone shouldn't be congregating. Since their beginnings in the city of trees, Dance Gavin Dance has sold over a million records and played in around 30 countries. We just hit uh, over a billion, with a B, a billion streams. They've made a name for themselves by being hard to pin down. Funk music, it's R&B. Straight, straight up pop music, straight up R&B. Yeah, there's, there's a lot we can do with our sound. When I'm saying a simplified version, I always just say hard rock. The Tower Bridge performance is called Tree City Sessions 2. After the stream, it will be made available as an album. The performance is the band's first and only in their hometown this year. They were all set to host their own festival at Cal Expo, but the pandemic forced them to cancel. We were devastated that we couldn't do our festival, Swan Fest. Every time I drove by Cal Expo, I was so excited to see once we started promoting it on like the billboard, which we didn't, that didn't, we didn't get there. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't get, we almost did. It was gonna we be don't. cool. Tree City Sessions 2 also highlighted the band's hometown with a pre-show walkthrough of Sacramento, showcasing some of the band's favorite spots. It makes the city of Sacramento look really awesome too. Dance Gavin Dance says they're grateful to the city of Sacramento, not just for the opportunity to put on the show, but for the many ways it supported them throughout their career. I love to come home to Sacramento. I I've seen everywhere. I don't want to live anywhere else.